Welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at understanding file management. Uh, this starts off uh, Windows uh, Unit B out of your textbook. Starts in on page uh, Windows 25, and we'll be looking at uh, pages 26 and 27 uh, in this first video. Uh, we're, we're going to start off by taking a look at the objectives for the entire series of videos that you're going to be looking at, and then we're going to be focusing mostly in on the first section, which is about managing folders and files. Uh, so you can see that that's our first objective that we're looking at there. After we complete the managing folders and files, we're going to be watching a video on opening the computer window, creating and saving documents, opening the documents folder, copying files, open, edit, and printing files, moving and renaming files, searching for them, and also deleting and restoring your files. And some of these things you may have done before, uh, but uh, sometimes it's always good to have a little bit of a refresher on there. Uh, first of all, uh, Windows in general, Microsoft Windows, will manage all your files and folders on your hard disk and on the other types of disks that you have attached to your computer. Uh, if you open up the My uh, Computer screen uh, on there, or the computer screen, or computer window I should say, uh, you'll see that each drive has a little icon and that represents a physical location for storing your files, whether it be a hard drive, flash drive, CD-ROM, uh, those different drives are going to be on there. We'll be taking a look at some samples of those in later videos. Uh, the one that we're going to mostly focus on right now is the hard disk, which is your built-in high capacity uh, storage area. Uh, that's your physical location for storing your files. It's also where the operating system is saved to uh, most of your software, the folders and files, you know, this is where most things typically get saved to is your hard disk. Now when we're talking about file managing or uh, the management of files and folders, uh, we're, talking, or, we're talking about uh, the strategy and tasks that you use to organize and maintain your folders and files on a disk. You can imagine having a bunch of papers on a desk and it'd be kind of hard to understand which paper is where and you know there's no system, it's just scattered all about. It'd be hard to find anything. However, if uh, you would probably think, well, you know, I'd organize them into different piles, and that's really what we would, can do on computers because many people just save their files onto the computers, and they don't really know where they go uh, on there, and then they have trouble finding them later. And this is going to help you out uh, on there to have a nice, neat computer where you can find all your files. Uh, first of all, you need to develop that strategy uh, on there. That way, so you can quickly find them when you need them. You know, if it takes you 10 minutes to find a file, that's not very efficient. You know, usually, you know, you should be able to get to a file in about a minute or so, uh, a t maximum on there, uh, if you have a proper file management system. Uh, Windows actually provides you a set of tools uh, to help you assist you in those tasks. And we're going to be taking a look at some of those tools. Uh, one of the first tools on there is folders. Uh, and you can use these folders for storing and organizing your files. And that's really just a location where they're at. And this is, you know, this folder, for an example, would be on your hard drive uh, on there. And you may be saying, well, what's in the folder? Well, that's where we have to, you know, that's what we have to decide. We have to organize our files into smaller groups of related files. Uh, and that way, so it's easy to access and easy to use. And you might be saying, well, how do I know what's in each folder? Well, that's where you can actually create a unique folder name. Uh, in this case here, this little icon here, that shows us a folder icon, and underneath it, it has the name of it. And this is what we call the folder name. So this Quest Specialty Travel uh, tells us a little bit about what's inside this folder. Uh, so if I'm looking for something that deals with Quest Specialty Travel, I would look inside this folder. Now, sometimes one folder may not be enough. Uh, you may actually need to have uh, different folders or folders within folders. And that's what we call subfolders. And if you notice this icon, it actually has a folder on the outside and a folder on the inside. And it's, of course, it's named Tours. It's folders named Tours. Uh, so that shows us that there's multiple folders uh, inside of this folder if we would double click on this icon. Uh, ultimately, this all leads to the term file hierarchy, which uh, describes the logic and layout of the folder structure. We're going to be seeing an image here in a few uh, moments that actually shows us uh, a hierarchy on there, and it's going to show us how uh, where things are saved at and how they are in relation to other things. 
Uh, of course, uh, Windows Vista, part of its file hierarchy, actually creates uh, for you a documents folder. And the Windows XP does the same, Windows 7, uh, and so on with that. Provides a documents folder for you so that it starts you off by allowing you to uh, create folders for you. And you can create subfolders so you can help organize all your files, music, pictures, videos, everything onto your computer. Uh, a lot of your programs, when typically you save it, uh, it's going to actually want to go into the documents folder, or on an XP machine they call it the My Documents folder. Uh, that's by default. If you ever want to change that, we'll show you how to do that in later videos uh, on there. But uh, that's typically where most files want to be at. So if you save something, you forgot where you saved it at, uh, the My Documents folder or the Documents folder would be a great place to start looking. Uh, there's other folders that Windows Vista provides for you, such as music, pictures, videos. Uh, there's a lot of different things. It tries to help you get set up so that you can say, hey, this is where my music's at. Uh, these are you know, the videos that I've taken, and this is where they're all put, up, uh, put at on my computer. Uh, this is the example of a file hierarchy on here, uh, where we can see that this is the documents folder that I was talking to you about. And uh, inside of that, you know, they, uh, the user on this one has created three different folders. But also inside this documents folder is just a file as well. So we see that here's a folder, that's the main folder, the documents folder. But you can also add in subfolders. Uh, but you can also have files in those folders as well. And inside of that, inside of this folder here, this tours folder, we have more subfolders. Uh, so you can kind of see that this file right here is in the tour proposals, file, uh, tour proposals folder, that's in the tours folder, that's in the document folder. A uh, little bit kind of difficult to say, but it gives you an idea of a physical location of where that's at. Uh, like I said, this is like a filing cabinet. You know, it's in this filing cabinet, in this folder, which has a folder inside of it named this, and then there's your file. And we can see that, you know, inside of folders you can have files uh, on there as well. Uh, now this is with the personal users folder uh, that Windows generally creates for you. Now this is one for Vista and it continues on with 7, but uh, usually the username that you use will have your main folder uh, on there, so each user has a folder. And then inside of that they give you contacts, documents, all your downloads, your favorites, links, music, pictures, uh, save games, searches, videos. It helps you to try to get organized on there. So there's your user account folder. These are all your subfolders uh, that's on there. And then inside of that, you can actually have shortcuts to other subfolders. And uh, we'll be taking a look at that at a uh, later time as well. Uh, a couple things when you do manage your files and folders, you can always rename, copy, and move your folders and files to other locations to help you. So just because maybe you haven't done it to begin with, doesn't mean that uh, you're stuck with it. You can always uh, go through and create new folders and everything else. Uh, but you can also delete and restore folders and files, and we'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, one of the ways to locate your folders is using what we call instant search, and we'll show you some examples of that in later videos. And also we're going to show you a little bit about using shortcuts to as uh, access uh, on there your uh, frequent frequently used files and folders on there. It's a very handy uh, way to take a look at that. And when we talk about shortcuts, we're ultimately talking about links, or they kind of look like icons that's going to give you uh, quick access to a certain folder or file on your website on there. Uh, so that's what we're going to be taking a look at. And of course, uh, this slide right here, just showing you what we're going to be coming up in the next uh, video, when we're going to be talking about opening up the computer window. If we just take a quick look uh, on here, this is uh, my desktop. And you'll notice that there are some different folders that's on here. and. Uh, for an example, if I uh, wanted to go in to uh, find some information about uh, my CTA class uh, on here, I can just click on here, uh, and this is my folder. If I open this up, notice that it had a folder within folders, so here's all my folders. Uh, and that way I have this organized, so if we need to go into, say, the Windows Vista, if there was any fi files in there, they would be there. Or if I need to go into Word, you know, notice there's some files in there. Uh, folders in there, and then inside there, there's my file. Uh, so it's a way of, uh, it's an excellent organization uh, on there, and that's primarily what we're going to be looking at. Uh, like I said, good planning is definitely essential for your file management uh, on there. Uh, keeping things up, uh, up to date and, you know, keeping things organized, it does seem like it does take some time, uh, but it, do, it will save you time in the long run on there. 
Well, that's it for this video today. Uh, like I said, we'll be taking a look at the next page on Windows 28 and 29 on the next video. So uh, uh, you can uh, read through on page Windows 26 and 27, and you may proceed on to the next video.